Hello friends, welcome to my effective learning series. Today, I will talk about the indications of deep learning. How does deep learning happen? Learning is a mental and physical process. What does it exactly mean to have understood a topic or concept that there has been learning with understanding? What are the indications that deep learning is happening? When we introduce any new topic or concept to learners, learners try to understand the concept and form a simple knowledge in the form of definition or description about it. For example, knowledge about Mughal Emperor Akbar and his administration. Teachers need to ensure that students have the preliminary concept. For example, who was Akbar and what did he do? This will help teachers to determine the pre-knowledge of the topic and connect students with new and more ideas, facts, concepts, etc. Teachers may involve students through discussing new steps that he brought in his administration that was different from Babur. Who took the decisions and what were its impacts? Gradually, the teachers need to introduce the application of the concept by adapting different strategies such as group work, mind map or concept map etc. Teachers may ask the students to use their knowledge, for example, which laws helped Akbar to rule his empire better. This will allow students to analyze and understand the machineries of Akbar's administration and the interrelation of his works and effects. Subsequently, students may further analyze or scrutinize the detailed matter of the topic to come up with new ideas for that time. Of course, that might have made Akbar and his administrators rule better. For example, students can design a policy or strategy based on Akbar's administration in groups through discussions and write flashcards on the administrative steps taken by Akbar and mention suggestive steps. Akbar's major departments and his different policies, role of officials and their impact on his reign, subsequent development of his policies and so on can be discussed. The flashcards will help teachers to discuss with students if such ideas would be modern day projections or would have been indeed implementable. Mm -hmm. Learning errors can be minimized with interaction, group discussions and writings in subsequent classes. This way of vigorous levels of engagement with the topic under discussion guides students towards deep learning. Let's cite one more example. Suppose we need to teach the concept of life process in science. Teachers need to ascertain the students' perception of knowledge and understanding on nutrition, respiration, transportation, etc. Students can be involved in an application question such as how can lifestyle affect our life processes? Students need to analyze various aspects of life process. The synthesis question suggests a better lifestyle that will reduce the virus impact on respiratory tract will help them to find or create new ideas. The deeper a student can go into this process, the deeper is his understanding and this way he also develops his learning ability. We often call this learning to learn skill. Teachers need to work methodically on this teaching plan before teaching. They need to plan on the learning progression of concept areas for engaging students in deep learning. That is why a structured lesson plan for every day is a must for all. Usually, lesson plan of any topic is built on ladders of task. This includes set the context, explanation, group work, interaction, discussion, presentation, silent reading and formative assessment as well. Tasks need to be challenging and appropriate. However, for students to go the distance in this process, they need to be motivated. This is the key. Students' curiosity and creativity need to be fostered. Teachers need to talk less and involve students in active learning. 
and this is the way students gradually walk towards deep learning.